people were asking in the comments whether or not this was the pristine cut or not. It technically is, even though it doesn't say it is. Like, when I look at it, the one I purchased is the pristine cut. But I don't know how to activate that part of it if there's supposed to be something I'm supposed to do. Which tells me I probably have to get to some point in the game in order to activate that. But I thought I bought the pristine cut. I did. I just... I don't know. It doesn't say pristine cut in the, the menu. Even though it says it under my steam games <laughs> so it is but it isn't i guess okay but we've seen all of the exploration stuff i'm i don't the only thing i really haven't done i've tried run right up to them i've tried being sly about it i've tried i've tried everything except the letting them go so let's let them go silently continue to the cabin uh let's take the blade with me if this doesn't work, I won't take the blade with me next time. I'm going to take the blade with me. I'm going to go down in that basement, and I'm going to save the princess. Who's there? It's me! She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Uh-huh. Oh, that's right. If I have the dagger, that's what kind of happened. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah. They're not the one in charge. I'm the one in charge. Uh, hey, I think I'm here to kill you. No, just checking in on you. No, I'm just going to be friendly. We're letting them out this time. We are friends. I am going to try to unite us as one once again, if I can. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Okay, I'm away. Hi there. Walk down the stairs. Hey, I have this thing, but don't princess. worry. It's to break There's this chain, chain, I hope. around her wrist. Binding her to the far wall of the basement. Uh huh. Yep. Hey, you see this thing? This this thing <laughs> I've got with me? You can totally see it as I swing it about. Focus on the task at hand. Uh, yeah. Shut up. And there you are. There are you I am. Kill me or something? No. I. You wish I was here to kill you. We have fun when that happens. This, I'm guessing, is probably not going to be fun for either one of us. Oh, let me try this one. I want to be like the stoic hero. The one that steps forward. And as she like is questioning whether or not we're going to stab her, we cut off the chain. And then we swoop her onto the back of our horse that we don't have and ride off into the sunset that is non-existent because it's nighttime. But, and then end scene. There, nothing bad happens. Absolutely Step everything's going to happen. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? Right. If that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. I know, but you misunderstand. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I know what you can do. <laughs> oh, so well do I know what you can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. No, I mean I will, but not the way you think. What if she isn't bluffing? I'm sorry, can we talk? I'm not dropping the knife. No, I don't want to drop the knife. I want to do like the cool thing. I want to walk up, grab a hold of the chain and cut it in half. This tiny insignificant dagger. Why, Gabe, why? You've been doing so good about letting me do stupid stuff all the way up to this point. I could drop the blade. Why not? I'll do that. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands not trembling with an unceremonious clang. It it's not why are they trembling? Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. It's not about just talking. Against I want to use your the blade. Judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Hi. Unarmed. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish. At here, least it's but different. I'm sure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. I don't want it. I don't need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. The awkward start was you stabbing me about 60 times before. How would I get you out of here? Let's ask her that. You can't. Don't bother. Uh-huh. Thanks, narrator. 
I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Uh-huh. That blade, maybe? Well, we can always put that knife to good use. That's what I figured. That's why I brought it. I'm glad you're the brains of this operation, because the hero sucks. <laughs> Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Uh-huh. You she want it? She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. No, why? I mean, why would she suggest stabbing me again? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Oh? Hold on. This keeps coming up. This whole idea of trust. And I definitely don't trust the narrator. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world. But they didn't tell you why. Right. Or how I got there or why I can't leave. There's exactly. so much to it. To and I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Uh-huh. Blind trust. Why does that keep coming up? Maybe she is telling me something, but she can only say so much. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? I trust myself and myself only. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? Yes, I have. This condescending tone is not helping, though, okay? I know why I'm here. I'm getting you out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding. Screw you, narrator. Quiet. My brain is foggy enough without all of the voices. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. God, that's not going to work. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Right. Yes. I can't bust them, but I might be able to pick a lock or something, or... I, I'm a hero, right? I must... There must be some sort of skill I can use here. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Is it? How do I know they didn't take it with them when they locked you down here? Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. I'm gonna go look now. The narrator is definitely a little too defensive on that. And, th and if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of here? That would be fine. I can lose an arm. Yeah, I know. We've noticed. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. Yeah, no, trust me. I've seen it enough times. She should. <laughs> she grows it back, practically. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. Okay, well, let's go you and try to find to something. Your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. No! Sliding into place. Who's there? Then? Someone else here. Right? Obviously, there must be someone there now. Either that or it's the narrator. Try the door. Try the door but it's locked from the outside. That's what I was worried about. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Ah, uh, thanks, narrator. Really kind of cementing that whole idea that I cannot trust you. Ah. Oh. You I hate being right in this game. Stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. God, I hate the narrator. Easier for whom? Yeah, exactly. Easier for everyone. That's not true. Who is this everyone? Again, you must know more people than I know in this world. Because as far as I can see, it's me, the princess, and you. And my guess is the reason why the narrator needs both of us to disappear is they need to inhabit whatever we are. This is probably going on inside of the head of whoever this is, and the narrator's trying to take over. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Um, maybe? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. Okay. You won't like what happens if you do that. Screw you, narrator. 
Save the princess. Against your better judgment. Oh! Place the blade against the princess's arm. Uh. The massive, unyielding chain. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, uh, why couldn't you just rip it off like you did before? Cut into her flesh. Yep. The blade is sharp. Oh God. Quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. Oh, good. That. Oh, that looks like it feels great. You know, freedom and all. Didn't so much as utter a sound. Yeah, that's good. It definitely didn't hurt, which is awesome. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. I don't care. Whatever happens, I don't care anymore. Hi! How is she so composed after losing an arm? Yeah, so right? She isn't even bothered by it. Right? Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay, I'm following your lead. You are big, strong, and powerful. I am weak. Approach the locked door. We won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. There we go. There it is. Darn you, narrator. God, I knew I didn't trust the narrator from the very As beginning. The approaches the no! Stand, your body steps forward and raises the blade. No! I knew the narrator was one of my voices in my head. Screw you! Get out of my head! This isn't fair. You can't just do that. Right! Watch me. No! No! Why? There's got... Warn her! There is! There's another option! No, screw you! This was a little too easy. Yeah, yeah, me too. Oh. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back. Good, the I warned her. Swiftly moves out of the way before yes. You can Good. Get this voice out of my head. Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive. Screw you! You're trying to get me killed. The princess is not actually hurting me. If the princess didn't need me anymore, the princess would have just offed me the second I let them out. And they didn't even need me to begin with. We've seen them do the exact same thing to themselves. No, 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 no. There's got to be one that's slightly different. Where is it? There. The blade. Is it. Move the blade. No. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I'm trying. I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'm really trying. Okay, <laughs> just hang on tight. I'm trying I'll my make best. This quick. Why? Just to help me. <laughs> she steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Good, yes. Now let go of me and maybe she'll let me live. Maybe I'll see you or in not. Life. Yeah, like two seconds from now, you'll see me again. Oh. Then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Yeah, of course she does. She's Her face that powerful. Unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground blood flowing from your butchered neck. Okay, you make it sound too gruesome for what it is. This was this a mercy. Is end, isn't it? Uh, I could only hope. Is this nightmare finally over? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark and you die. I hope it was worth it. It was. Because we saw something different. I'm tired of seeing the exact same thing over and over and every time I listen to you, it's the same thing! Chapter 2, The Prisoner. We're on a new route. Good, thank God. A warning before you go any further. A warning? She will lie. She will cheat. Oh, no, you've she already explained that part, too. Her power to stop you. Yes, Don't believe a word she says. She says. Uh, Just so go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Uh, yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Proceed to cabin. You and I, we're on the same page, narrator. We are definitely, absolutely, on the same page now. 100%. God, it's beautiful in here. woodland retreat, and more like a dungeon. It's actually kind of beautiful, but it actually looks like I love. I'm a sucker for good masonry, and this is gorgeous masonry. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. That's right, Good absolutely. Idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Right, exactly. Enter the basement. 
You walk down the oh, stairs God. and lock eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. How am I getting her out of this? An arm, maybe, but can she live without her head? Should we be worried about the one around her neck? Right? Why would you be worried about her restraints? If anything, they'll make your job easier. I guess so. Hero, you shut up, you idiot. Have You're you gonna give us the away. Chain on the wall. Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. That's what I thought when I first saw it. Why only have one chain connected to her arm? Why wasn't the second one? What is this? It's here all the time. God, Skeptic is so perfect. Skeptic basically echoes what I think. What I love an interesting it. Interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Why? Is that one undone? Possibly. Maybe. It doesn't really matter, though. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. You seem a little more... Stable? <laughs> is the best way I could put it. You're not as nuts. And honestly, even the art depicts her as, well, slightly older, maybe. And a little more... Refined. Like, she's evaluating all of the aspects of the situation and not jumping to conclusion, which you is do as good. She asks and sit on the floor, still a good distance away from her. Uh-huh. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Well, I have to be careful because I can't... <laughs> I can't play all my cards. The narrator will do something about it. Hmm. Maybe been here before i'm the only one who remembers that oh am i the only one uh, let's ask oh are we acknowledging that i thought we weren't going to give away the game but yeah i remember good awesome i needed to know that so I'm you've sorry. already been here yes as much as i would like to remain in denial it's no use this has complicated things it's complicated things. How, exactly? Yeah, right? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. How, though? You aren't giving me enough information. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. It's built in? A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else. I'm just going to make it worse. Just good luck. Oh. So it's built in. It, so if I do fail, which, I mean, I've failed a lot. Uh, I, th there's the built-in contingency that this plays over and over. What's wild to me is that they can do all of that, but they can't remove the princess? What makes me so definitive, so special, that I'm the only one that can do that? If you knew this could happen, why didn't you tell us? All of this is incredibly valuable information. It would have changed our actions considerably. Right? I needed you to be in the dark for as long as I could keep you there. It's important. Necessary, even. Why? And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. Oh, I guess that makes sense. The narrator would die with the world, I'm guessing. But you know how many narrators I've seen? That's pathetic. Yeah, right? I never said I wasn't. Exactly. Now you shut your mouth and let me do the rest. Your success is hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. 
Exactly. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. No, it is helping. It's Focus. helping me a lot. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. Uh huh. <laughs> you didn't hear any of that? I guess not. I guess they can't hear inside of my head. Um. You were asking, what do you mean by that? Yes. Your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? I mean, again, I thought we were trying to keep things quiet from the narrator. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles. Okay. I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. Great. But how does that work with your head? Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Right? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Uh, yeah, maybe she could. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. No, not anymore. I think I can't trust the narrator far more than I can't trust you anymore. So, one way or another, I gotta get you out of here. I have to see at least that through. I need to know, what happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. Oh. So the two of us have to exist in order for this world to change. And now you're back. Hmm. Oh, the other chain on the wall. Yes, the other chain on the wall. Who's it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. I guess I could. Oh, I could. Oh my god. I don't know what it would do, Why? whether that would be more beneficial to me or not, but... Maybe it'll fit. Yeah, it might. But I what benefit will there be? I actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Okay, if that doesn't work, maybe I'll lock myself down with the princess. Oh. Inspect the shackle. I wouldn't do Let that me try that. You. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? I don't want to be stuck anywhere, but obviously something is going on. And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. It might, actually. You want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. <sighs> Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. <laughs> right? Look at that side eye. <laughs> She's just as curious about this thing as I am. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. Why? All I did was pick it up! What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes. It's bad. Why? Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Why? Why? So they're magic, and, Chain. As if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Really? Um, excuse me? Yeah, right? Yes. Are we stuck here now? Yeah, probably. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. I guess, kind of funny. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. Yeah, probably. That's horrible. Yeah, yes, definitely. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Exactly. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. No, you shut up, you big no, dummy. That there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Yes, exactly. Something about this. It's in every scene, and it's magical. Why is it here? What is it for? 
If I could find a way to shackle the narrator, maybe that would be what this is for. Oh. Cool. So did you know this was going to happen? No. So we're both stuck here. Yep. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, have you noticed the basement changing by chance? Well, Even our blade is gone. Time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt well, could... seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass. Why couldn't have that have been the wall behind us, where our chains are locked on? Until suddenly, oh hey look, no walls. And then, and then what? And, yeah, I think he's gone. Oh, thank God! Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. That is good. So this oh. is the outside world. It's cold. A little bit, yeah. But this is like the outside of the outside world. There is nothing here. There is darkness. This is where we go to forget. So... Buckle up! Yeah, sorry! Princess, come back! But you do not get the chance to respond. Nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I mean, obviously it's to show me what kind of growth we've had. We've been here before and you always get scared. <laughs> Let's it do that one. So bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. It kind of sort of is. Are we the end of the world? Maybe the princess isn't even the end of the world. Maybe our existence is the end of the world. And the princess keeps us anchored right. there. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Fear. Yeah. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we're melting? We grew before. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, hi. At least the princess seems fairly normal this time, even though she still has the chains on. I am a growing chorus of contradictions. Yes, you are. <laughs> of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look oh. at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. That's called adulthood. <laughs> that is just all that is. Trust me, it sucks. It's a mass of contradictions. And the more you think about any one thing, the more your anxiety kicks in and makes you think about a million things. It's miserable. You'll get used to it. It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't resent you. I don't resent any of this. Because at this point, this is nothing more than an experience. Something that I get to go through. Because there is no death, there is no life, there is no start nor end of this. This is a continuous cycle, and all I can do is continue to move forward through it. Or backwards through it. We've done that before. So it doesn't really matter. The only thing that exists is ourselves and the experience. So, sure. I guess I don't resent you, and I can understand then why you wouldn't resent me. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. 
just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Oh. I see. So you really do live vicariously through us, the princess and I. And you only can see other things when I'm here. My guess is eventually it's going to be our turn to be absorbed. That's probably how this will all end. To complete the transition and form this person who we have probably been a part of the whole time into a fully functional being will have to forego all of our senses because it seems like the princess lacks those. We're just part of the whole. I'm almost Perhaps positive of that. When our work is done. I'm almost positive of that. Um, I think... How many more vessels do I need? And that is always vague. All of these other ones are pretty vague most of the time, so... I think instead of attacking or destroying my body, which I could do, I guess, which tells me that I'm probably right. I, there's probably going to be a moment in which I have to either destroy myself, attack this entity, or to give myself up willingly. I think instead of doing any of this right now, I think my best bet is to go back and relive it all over again once more. Because I want to see this to its completion, one way or another, however this ends. And we're going to do that in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching this one, and remember to take care. And goodbye!